Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 18th of 2023 well, it is titled Map of the Total Solar Eclipse Path in 2024, April. So what do we see here? Well, we see the map showing and the total eclipse path, actually two of them coming up. First is in October of this year, and then there will be an annular solar eclipse. An annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes directly in front of the sun, but it occurs at the time when the moon is further away from Earth. And that makes the moon appear a little bit smaller in the sky, and it cannot completely block out the sun. So if you are on that path going from Oregon down through Texas, you will see what we call an annular solar eclipse, which means that the moon will pass in front of the sun, but a ring of sunlight will be visible. It will still remain visible around uh, the moon. So it will not be a complete total solar eclipse, but still an amazing sight to see coming up this October. Now the bigger eclipse coming up ne next year, in fact, just a little less than one year from right now, on April 8th of 2024, there will be a total solar eclipse. And that eclipse path comes in through Texas, and then up through states like Arkansas and Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, hitting parts of southern Canada, and then exiting up into the Atlantic as, as it passes through Maine. So a good chance and in fact anyone in the eastern half of the United States will get to see at least a very good partial eclipse. But if you are in that path you will get to see a total eclipse of the sun. And in that case the moon will completely block out the sun and it will become dark in the middle of the day. So again, a chance to see a total solar eclipse here. In a way, two chances, one to see an annular eclipse coming up in October, and another to see a total eclipse coming up in April. So eclipses are not that rare. They do occur every year somewhere to some extent on Earth. However, as you note here, the paths are not very wide for the total solar eclipse. So in order to actually see the sun completely blocked out by the moon, you have to be on that path. So as you'll note here, if you're in Mississippi or Alabama or Georgia, you will see only a partial eclipse. Even if you're in one of the states that it passes through, uh, such as, say, Ohio, if you're in the southeastern portion of Ohio, you will only see a partial eclipse. It will be almost total, but not quite. You actually have to be within that range uh, to in order to see the total solar eclipse. And the closer you are to the center, the longer the eclipse will last. If you're right on the edge, it will be very brief total solar eclipse. If you're in the middle, it will be longer lasting several minutes, uh, depending on the exact positioning of the sun and the moon, as you observe from that location. So do keep your eyes out. I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot more about this over the next year as we prepare for these two coming eclipses that will cross the United States. So that was our picture of the day for April 18th of 2023. It was titled Map of the Total Solar Eclipse Path in 2024 April. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.